What's up, YouTubers? Looking at a flashlight review tonight, and we're looking at a cool new little Manker uh, light. It's a um, called the EO2, and it's a one AAA battery on a um, Cree XCW XPG3. You can also get it in a Nichia, which I would prefer. This was sent to me as a sample. I didn't get to choose. But what's cool about this little light, first of all, 220 lumens is really good out of a AAA battery. And they're not claiming that out of a 14, 13, That's just out of a typical, typical, typical um, AAA. It's more of a lantern style light. It has this uh, forward facing, kind of like the um, Olight headlamps that can be headlamps and flashlights. But this is not a headlamp. This is just a light. So it has forward facing now the clip is actually reversible and one thing they design it like this is so you can actually clip this on your backpack or your um, pants or something so you can use it as a uh, almost like a lantern more than a point and shoot flashlight so it's got three modes and we'll go over the modes outside that's the high mode there low low medium high and I like that um, it has a nice the top, the soft button here on the top to activate the light. I really like that feature. It's got some nice knurling. It's also got a magnetic base, which is nice. And I kind of envision this as being, like I said, it's such a versatile little light because you have that clip, you can position it um, that way on your like your backpack strap and use it as like a little, you know, hands-free light, or you can use it as a uh, magnetic surface and use it as a hands-free light. Maybe if you're working on a car or something like that. So it's a very cool little design. You're seeing more of these pop up. Zebra Light's been making them for a few years like this, and Olight's done a couple late recently that are actually headlamps. Again, this one's not. It's just a pocket light. Uh, it didn't come with like a headlamp attachment or anything. It just come with a lanyard hole. But you can also switch that clip so it's uh, bezeled down, carry it in your pocket like normal, or you can again flip that around and carry it inside your pocket or you can attach it to a strap or something of that nature and you can use it as a, a forward facing light so pretty cool little light let's go ahead and do some um, beam shots outside and kind of show you how that how that works and then we'll come back and finish up the video All right we are outside with the maker it is on low this camera's not picking up great here medium this is high 220 lumens so you can see here it's got a decent amount of light output for a triple-a battery actually that's high even higher there was one more mode not a bad little light pretty good well, quite a lot of flood but the way this lights designed that's what you'd want and you got your strobe mode and your SOS and your beacon back to low the maker on high inside okay you can see the beam shots there uh, your max run time on this guy on one triple A is going to be 64 hours which is quite a bit uh, your max beam distance is going to be 55 meters. It's more of a shorter range floodlight. And again, max output is 220 with IPX8 waterproofing and 2 millimeters of impact resistance. So should be a tough little light. I like this gray anodizing on it. Uh, it's a, actually a really good looking light. Um, I like the size. It's small, but not too small for a AAA. Just a cool little EDC light. Um, lots of different ways to use this one. Very versatile, not just a handheld light you can use it quite often in different um, aspects so I like it I uh, want to thank Maker again for sending this to me for review any questions or comments on this one guys leave them down below and we will see you on the next video